Amidst growing world population and pressure on resources, rising fuel and food prices, there is a great need for more efficient and environmentally clean ways to produce food and energy. Government subsidized efforts have often provided a false sense of viability, thereby misdirecting and wasting precious financial and natural resources. What would you think of an algae solution that would allow us to stop taking krill, the whale's food for our fish oil source? That provides a new source of protein to feed the growing world population. That provides exact replicate fuels and chemicals instead of lower grade mixed in biofuels and equivalents. What if it was highly profitable, therefore could stand on its own two feet without subsidy? Hi, I'm Brad Bartelson, President and CEO of Photon 8. We're here today to show you our solutions for sustainable food, nutraceuticals, chemical, and energy. Many of you have heard about the potential of algae as this renewable base. At 10,000 gallons of fuel per acre per year, algae stands hundreds of times greater than that of any other crop. Unlike ethanol, algae can be grown on non-arable land, consumes instead of producing CO2, the greenhouse gas, and doesn't consume precious fr freshwater resources. Yet today, the first ventures into algae-based fuel and related products haven't achieved high volume production because their approaches were too costly. We're here today to show you the algae growth and downstream processes that make it financially viable and therefore scalable into large volume production. At Photon 8, we started with techno-economic modeling, determining the process financial targets that needed to be hit before we started inventing. We then invented solutions into that box. We start out by growing algae in our low-cost photobioreactor system we call the PFR for parallel film reactor. After harvesting and concentrating, the lipids are separated from the algal cells in a thermal chemical extraction process. The solids fraction can be sold as fish feed or go into nutraceuticals or food additives. They can also be processed into alcohols and acids or precursors to, for chemical processes, making the final product as green chemicals. The lipid or fat fractions are separated into high value nutraceuticals such as EPA and DHA, the healthy ingredients in your fish oil tablets. The remaining shorter change lipids are processed into exact replicate fuels by a Photon 8's proprietary processes or made into green chemicals. If the fuels are combusted, the process is carbon neutral as the emitted CO2 is captured in greater quantity to feed Photon 8's growth process. This is where it all begins for Photon 8, our entire process here in this lab. We begin with a petri dish where we grow up colonies of our cells and these cells have been mutagenically altered so that they produce more rapidly and produce uh, greater volumes of, of lipid. This is not genetically modified uh, organisms. We then take those colonies of cells and put them into a specially designed seawater based medium in these high-tech expensive ketchup bottles and then from there, after they've grown up, they go into the high-tech expensive uh, juice bottles. And we grow them up from here, and from there they go into our, what we call our PFRs, our parallel film reactors, the photobioreactors, in which we grow up our, our large-scale cultures. From here, the culture is then taken up to the large uh, uh, production-scale uh, PFR. Our PFR design and fabrication techniques are the core of Photon 8 system and intellectual property. We have developed scalable processes and are now in our third generation tooling to make them efficiently and cost effectively. We now build 60 foot systems in less than 8 hours. And this is our new PFR. It features advanced and reliable plastics and we're going into production with this design. This is our extremely low cost PFR production unit. It has constructed a plastic film, very low cost, yet it has achieved the highest production numbers witnessed to date. Uh, you see here the traveling wave effect that overcomes the limits of oxygen release that are normally witnessed. Uh, we have harvested up to 50% of this volume each day. During the process steps, we examine what's going on in the culture with techniques by cell counting, microscopic, and fluorescent microscopic. The data set is extensive during process and is 
integrated into a fully searchable database for ongoing analysis and comparisons. The harvested algae is then concentrated in a patented process which we developed uh, so that it very quickly and uh, inexpensively separates the algae from the uh, liquid medium. This is very important because uh, concentrating algae uh, can cost up to $27 a gallon, thus rendering it um, too expensive to use for any product. The concentrated algae is then mixed with a chemical and um, heated up to separate the lipids from the cells, as you can see in here. Then, the lipids in the cells are distilled in another process, so we can get uh, distilled and purified. That's our process, and this is our team that has made these great accomplishments. We've delivered on our commitments to Texas Emerging Tech Fund that awarded us $1 million, and GBIC here in Brownsville that awarded us $300,000. We're now moving into production. This is our production site with thousands of acres of land ideally located next to seawater. Service electrical, water, sewer are already in place, as well as rail service in a fenced-in area with a building pad. We have nearby production partners for our waste stream nutrients. We invite you to join us as we move our present systems onto this site and deliver on production contracts for nutraceuticals, fish feed, green chemicals, and fuels.